Hello friends, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic, Requirement Elicitation. Friends, this is a very important topic and uh, we have taken this topic from uh, Project Management, PMBOK Project Management Board of Knowledge. And um, uh, we, uh, if you are a friend, if you are a student and studying Project Management in university or you are planning to give exam of uh, PMP, so this is a very important topic. At least 4 to 5 questions will definitely be there in your concept related to requirements gathering requirement elicitation will be checked will be checked also if you are a professional uh, project manager business analyst and working in any uh, already working in any organization as a project manager or business analyst so you must have to know that how to gather the requirements at the level of initiation of a project and how to document and what are the best techniques for requirement gatherings so uh, let's uh, start first of all I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you so let's uh, start requirement elicitation friend uh, first of all try to understand that this is a topic related to project management we have taken this topic from uh, PMBOK project management body of knowledge uh, at the time of uh, level of initiation of a project when we are initiating projects we must have a procedure to uh, gather the requirements of a project. What is a project? As per the definition of PIMBA, project is a temporary thing which has a beginning and ending point and it gives you a unique output, product, service or result. That is called as project. Friend, whenever we initiate a project, we must need to understand what are the requirements actually. Because requirement gathering is very very important process because the whole building of a project is based on requirement gatherings. If we gather the requirements properly, if we gather the requirements thoroughly, obviously there are high chances that we can successfully deliver the project. If the requirement elicitation or requirement gathering is not properly uh, performed, so obviously obviously there would be some gaps in the implementation and we must have to we have to face the failure at the end of a project so requirement elicitation is the set of activities where information is given by stakeholders users and customers to be applied to the design of the in initiative or the solution so basically friend when we talk about requirement elicitation we are basically referring to a phase of requirement gathering at this phase of requirement elicitation or requirement gathering in this phase customers are basically telling you that what is their requirement users are telling their information their procedures and as a business analyst you should be able to document all those requirements properly so that when we reach at a design level or the design phase we can convert those requirements into a design uh, of so a software solution so a requirement and when we talk about requirement elicitation is the set of activities where information is given by stakeholders users and customers to be applied to the design of the solution okay that is mainly normally generally the requirement of a uh, uh, responsibility of a business analyst to uh, understand the requirement of customers users uh, and uh, and uh, other stakeholders to understand the requirement document it so that it can be converted to a design of a solution for this purpose friend um, uh, brainstorming first method there are many methods or uh, methodologies are available for uh, the requirement elicitation one of the method is brainstorming uh, what is brainstorming friend brainstorming I is a method in which you can just think of a method like uh, multiple stakeholders like customer uh, project manager uh, your management uh, like for example functional experts uh, technical experts will sit together and they discuss m multiple ideas what are the advantages what are the dis uh, disadvantages what are the possibilities to implement the solution so uh, first of all uh, the uh, brainstorming session means that the creative ideas would be discussed in that uh, session and uh, first of all the uh, it should be a focus session it should be a result oriented session it should not be like that uh, like people are sitting and uh, there should there would be no result obviously whenever we are giving time we are uh, putting time so we must need some results and for result need friend uh, this is a very important thing that the creative people who have creative mind they should sit together they should put their minds they should put their efforts 
to produce some results they uh, in that session several ideas would be discussed and uh, after discussing multiple ideas we will reach at some level so that is called as the brainstorming session it is the uh, a, a, it is the type of requirement elicitation it is the method which we can use for requirement elicitation another method is document analysis uh, friend document analysis is another method of uh, requirement elicitation that means friend when uh, uh, if you don't have any particular resource available who can describe you the uh, describe you the requirements so uh, we can use the documental document analysis approach document analysis we just see the name uh, of the topic document analysis means that you analyze the documents to understand the requirements for example uh, you as a business analyst you can analyze you can study the contracts training manuals work statements policy manuals business plans request rfps market studies uh, comparative product reports system files etc so by studying all those documents i'm just giving you an example here just take it as an example so by uh, analyzing or studying the doc those documents you can analyze the requirement you can understand the requirement that what type of uh, requirement customer has normally it happens like for example uh, any particular person uh, who has the core knowledge has resigned and he is no more with the company so uh, at that moment when you start studying the requirement that particular person or resource is not available so due to that reason you have to understand you have to study uh, the existing documents to understand the requirement and uh, this is called as the uh, document analysis which is the uh, which is another method of requirement elicitation another uh, method uh, for requirement elicitation is the interview method interview method means friend that you will uh, just sit with the core stakeholders like for example you can just uh, sit with the uh, head of the business development head of the business division of uh, for example with the bank and he will tell you that what actu actually he wants uh, you will ask uh, uh, multiple questions with him and he will describe actually what he wants how what he wants that what type of application he wants to develop so after asking multiple questions and multiple core questions uh, you will reach at some point that actually what is his thoughts so interview means that you will uh, you will sit uh, one to one or with uh, with a group as well uh, normally uh, this type of session can be uh, can be impact can be held in uh, one to one session as well or with uh, uh, in a group session as well in which we uh, discuss the requirements uh, the the group of people or the individual will tell you his their requirements and they describe what actually want to develop and after discussing with them we reach at some point of level at which the business analyst can understand that what actually uh, the customer want to develop so uh, the interview is another method of uh, requirement elicitation through which you can understand uh, the requirement of a customer that actually what he wants to uh, develop another method is prototyping prototyping means friend that uh, uh, you will uh, you may uh, you make some uh, prototype prototype means that you make some wireframes uh, images and uh, you uh, you uh, describe the process flow by using some wireframes images so that once they are doc once the document will represent to the customer he can study the document and he can understand that what exactly flow uh, he will uh, receive in the application once it will be built for example let me give an example here for example customer want to uh, make uh, want to make a mobile application through customers through users can do the fund transfer donation IBFT and uh, the bill payment as well so that purpose you can make a proto prototype document prototype document will explain uh, the uh, flow of uh, the process and also it describes the wireframes wireframes mean that it will shows images that which button will exist where once you click on a particular button what will the what will be the process how things will process proceed in the uh, mobile application so at that point of level 
once you describe uh, once you give it the document to the customer he can easily understand that how what will be the flow in the application if he needs some changes so he can just change it in the document and after approving the document the design solution design and the development will start so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side thank you